So you spend a lot of money on your brand new griddle and you really want to take care of it and keep it nice. Well, I got three accessories that'll help you do that. Make sure it stays good, keeps cooking you great meals and stick around to the end. I got a bonus accessory that you might like to help protect the top of your griddle. We'll start with some general griddle maintenance before I get into the accessories. You want to make sure your griddle is seasoned. Three coats of oil thin, burn them off, and then you're good to go. Most griddles come with instructions. There's tons of videos. I have a video. I'll link it in the cards. But you just always want to make sure it's seasoned. And then also, after each cook, you want to put another thin layer of oil all over the griddle, up on the sides and stuff. This will help protect it from rust. Just keep it ready to go for your next use. And the more you cook on the griddle, the more it will get seasoned and build up seasoning and be non-stick. Stuff like bacon, greasy stuff really helps to build it up. Side note, don't season it with bacon right off the bat. That's not the initial seasoning. The initial seasoning is using an oil, a, like canola oil or flaxseed or avocado and burning that off to get that first layer. And then you can season it with food and stuff. Do I wipe mine down perfectly and put oil on every time? No, no I don't, because <laughs> I'm forgetful. And sometimes I finish my burgers or my cheese sticks. I'm like, I want to eat these right now. So, but it's okay. I mean, that's just what you should do. I'm not perfect and I don't expect anybody else to be. I just want to let you know what you should do. And if you want to keep it perfect black, you got to put that oil on there. But if you forget, it's okay. There's other things you can do to re-season or strip it down and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the tools. First tools we have are a dough scraper or a long, look how long this thing is losing fitness shot boom a long scraper for your griddle um, this is for cleaning purposes you can use a spatula as well my favorite thing to use is the dough scraper i feel like i have the most control over this when i'm coming down on there because i'm so close and i can grip it so hard but you're also really close to the flat top which is hot so some people don't like that this is a longer version if you don't want to be that close to the flat top uh, i don't like this one as much i put it in one of my videos of accessories that it it's not my favorite. It's just farther away. I don't feel like I have enough control over it, but it, it works. It totally works. And if you don't want to be as close to the griddle as this, then grab yourself one. I'm not, that's just a preference thing. So another thing some people will get is like the putty knives. There's food grade ones. They look like for, you know, doing drywall. Uh, those work real well too. Um, flipping pancakes and are really good to clean and they sell some. Um, so these are really good, or you use a putty knife, whichever one you like. It's really a preference thing. This one's my favorite because it has multiple uses too, because you can like use it for veggies inside to kind of like prep and stuff like that. But I'll put a link in the description for these two on Amazon and for everything I talk about today. Up next, we have a hard cover. I got this one also off of Amazon. It was like a hundred bucks at the time, but that was like two years ago. So it could be like $300 by now. Who the heck knows? But anyways, um, I digress. You gotta get a hard cover. Some of these come with a hard cover, some of them don't. I don't know why they don't all come with a hard cover. That's my one main, main complaint about pretty much most all griddle manufacturers is you should come with a cover. All grills come with a hard top. All griddles should also come with a hard top. Can you get like a plastic cover or whatever? Yeah, you can, that'll work, but it's gonna, sometimes the water might collect and sit on it because the griddle goes down, you know, and the sides are around it. So it might like go down in here and then the water just pools up. So I had a plastic cover because I was cheap at first. I bought something cheap from Lowe's, water collected on it, and it ripped after a month because I got the cheapest one I could find. So you can get what you pay for, but eventually I broke down and got this. You definitely need a hard cover. I mean, that's the best way to protect it from the elements and to keep it so it doesn't get rusty, it doesn't get water. It's really water and stuff like that. If you want to, you can take your griddle top off and take it inside. I did that for like a month when I first got it, you know, cause it's like a new car. It's like, I'm gonna keep this clean forever. And then you're like, the real world hits in. You're like, I'm not taking this griddle top into my basement every time I want to be done cooking. This is insane. So, so, but at first you're like, oh, this is my baby. I'm gonna protect it. But anyways, eventually I just broke down bought this cover um, they make them different sizes for all different griddles so definitely get yourself a hard cover you want to protect the griddle that you just bought next we got the pumice stone this is nice this is a good way to after you're done cooking and if you see some rust spots or uneven spots put oil down get it hot and you'll smooth out your griddle this is not to be used 
every single time, okay? You're building seasoning and you just kind of use the scraper every single time with some water to clean and then put a thin coat of oil. This is to be used maybe every once a month or two when it starts to look a little rough because you're actually taking the seasoning off but you're smoothing it all out and then you're re-seasoning. So if you use this, you then need to re-season. Maybe not three times, maybe one or two times, but you gotta re-season because you're taking the top layer off. When you take this and you just basically put oil down and then you just start scrubbing around and it's really gonna smooth out your griddle. The other option is to completely re-season your griddle and strip it down, which I did, and I'll link that video at the end. That's not necessary all the time. You know, you don't need to do that that often. And it's good to know that you can do it if things go real south and you have a completely rust-covered griddle, you can strip it all the way down. But most of the time, I mean, I'll probably do this maybe uh, twice, three times through the cooking year from spring until fall. So about every two months, you know, I'll just kind of take this and really smooth it all out, anything that's rough or uneven if it needs to happen, and then kind of add another layer of seasoning on top by burning off some oil. Your final bonus griddle accessory is the Griddle Buddy. This is a silicone mat that you can buy that goes on top of the griddle. I have only had it for uh, a month now maybe, and so far it's fine, it's good. It keeps the water off, or it keeps everything covered. If you have any problems with pests or rodents, it keeps the debris off there. I know some people in the country have, you know, pests getting up there and different rodents and stuff. So um, it comes in one size, but you can cut it to fit. Like I cut it to fit my camp chef because it comes in like a normal blackstone size. And it even has outlines on it to show you how to cut it for smaller blackstones and stuff. But so far, I've enjoyed this. Um, I haven't used it long enough to give a full review. I will give a full review once I've done like two or three months and know like, is this a good product or is it not? So far, I like it though. Um, it is a little bit pricey. I don't know if I'd spend, I think it was 60 bucks. I don't know if I'd spend that if I didn't have a YouTube channel about griddling, just <laughs> being honest, but I'm cheap. So uh, you could also use parchment paper instead after you put the oil down could rip off some parchment paper and put that on each time and that'd be a serve the same purpose as buying one of these you know but at least you know it's out there and I'll let you know in a couple months what I really think of it and if I think it's like a must-have or a maybe you should have or don't buy at all so thanks so much if you want to see those videos I was talking about they're on the screen now have a good one keep on griddling <laughs>